To realize the types of transformative change envisioned in the 2030 Agenda, we need to work in equally transformative ways. The SDGs need bright minds and relentless dedication from all of society, including young people. We must capture the expertise and views of youth in decision-making processes. The policy choices made today will present options for a radically different future in which young people play an intrinsic role. Our guiding light going forward is a set of actionable proposals outlined in the UN Secretary General's Our Common Agenda, which puts multilateral solidarity center stage to address global challenges head on and revitalize progress towards the SDGs before it's too late. The proposals outlined in this report cover a wide range of recommendations from how we can improve digital cooperation to how we can better foster political representation and participation to how we can transform education, skills and lifelong learning. At the core of all these efforts, the report calls for renewal of solidarity between generations, particularly with young and future generations. Our Common Agenda makes a case for stronger, more diverse and effective participation of young people in decision-making processes at all levels. And these are the exact sentiments which were also very much lied at the heart of the UN's first ever system-wide youth strategy, Youth 2030, which envisions a world that recognizes young people's agency, resilience and positive contributions as trailblazers of progress. And it pushes for a world in which decision makers effectively and meaningfully respond to and invest in young people's needs and aspirations by walking the talk. In my work, I have seen that young people worldwide are increasingly stepping up to complex development challenges. The recently launched Believe in Better report from my office is an excellent reflection of this. It focuses on strengthening accountability with and for young people by highlighting how youth are finding innovative ways to engage duty bearers, monitor programs and contribute to new ideas, solutions and policy directions on the SDGs. It is clear that a lot has already been done and much of it is beginning to bear fruit, even under the most trying of circumstances. At this year's high-level political forum, we will see in-depth reviews of progress towards the achievement of SDGs, including quality education, gender equality, life below water, life on land, and partnerships for the goals. Youth are directly impacted in all of these areas, and the indivisible nature of the goals means that we cannot cherry-pick whom to include. Development must be smart. If it doesn't actively include young people, it is not sustainable. Youth in all corners of the world are galvanizing action by urgently responding to today's challenges, speaking truth to power and pushing new frontiers. They are the ones who will ultimately set our world on track for a better, more inclusive future. So let's give them an opportunity to lead. Thank you.